So we've got as Paul Atreides from Dune. Dune. Dune? Dune. Well, it's not Dune like the month, is it? It's it's Dune like the Sandy Hill. Dune. Dune. Sand Dune. <laughs> so we've got a figure of Paul Atreides. Who's Paul Atreides? Paul Atreides is the main character in Dune. Have you seen Dune? No. Have you seen even the old Dune? Nope. Have you read the books? Yes. Then you should know who Paul Atreides is. Big books. <laughs> Big books like this. So Paul Atreides, he's the, he's the messiah, or so to, so to speak. So the main character and me have actually produced this model to be very similar to the Code of here and also the Bandai Ooh. type kits, they're fully jointed. Really? It's like an action figure kit. Is it clicked together or? It's clicked together. Really? Let's have a close look. Let's do an unboxing. Let's crack it. Where's our next guest? I don't know. Probably watching. He's about to start making Here his way in. That's one twelve scale. So one this is exactly the same scale as the 30 Minute Sisters and the Code of Frame Arm Girls. Oh. So if you like that style of figure, then it's the same build style and also the same size. Completely different content though. Oh, different content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks way more, way more serious. So you got all different hands. And it's really interesting how they've done all the folds of the fabric. Comes with Diorama. Comes with a base. This Are is, you kidding me? This one is a delu the front the deluxe version. Deluxe. So it does come with this base. different from you. What do you mean? What is it? Is that more of the base? That's more of the base. So that's two parts of the base. Base and the treble. Yep. We've got this chest. It's a bit hard to see because it's quite dark, right? But it's getting right really tight because this is the detail out of the still suit. Oof. Look at that. With all the ribbing and stuff. So the still suit is where they stored all the water because they, on the planet, it was a desert planet. Dry. Right. Yeah. And so they filled up with water. Dry as a chip. And they'll reuse the lost uh liquid from their body so that's why they had the thing up their nose so they could collect all the um the condensation harvest that's right and so they, they got better chances of surviving in the desert for a long period of time so really nice crisp detail look at the heads or something around here what have we got here oh here we go so i've got two different faces this one which looks a bit funky like darth vader that's the one where he's got the uh the mask on mm -hmm. and then you've got them here you don't have to wear the mask outside, right? Hey? You don't have to wear the mask outside. Well, that's right. We can take the mask off and just have it hanging there. So there's that bit, and then we'll get some green bits. So is this a... What's that thing there? Oh, that's his, um, that's his sword made out of a sandworm tooth. What's the name of it again? I don't know. Here's another part of the quiz. What is the name of that sword? Or that dagger, I guess. It's not quite long enough to be a sword. What is the legal measurement specifications for a sword? For a sandworm toothed sword? That's not a dagger. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check <laughs> my my spec book. I think your Siri's going to hate you. I don't think she's going to answer that one bit. I don't oh, have Siri. No, we're on the overhead one. Oh, are we? Which Sorry. one have you got? I have you got, use myself. Have you got Pixel? What's Pixel? What are you talking about? I'm not I've sure. Got, I've got that other thing called... Pixel? No. It starts with a B. Bluetooth. Bixby. And sometimes I accidentally push it and Bixby comes up. Bixby? I'm going to set it up so I don't know what it's talking about. I know you use it all the time. Don't you? Okay, Siri, give me a coffee. And then the coffee turns up. Oh, she's listening. Hi, oh, she? <laughs> she's in my Siri, give me a coffee too. She's in my pocket floating around. Really? Yeah. I'll have a cup of latte. There you go. That's four tradies. Oh, what else have you found? So apart from four tradies, you were you were holding out on me. I was. Why? Because you'd be more excited about that. This is the ornithopter. I love the ornithopter and What's the harvester. The, oh, I don't have any the... harvesters because we we had these kits before, but they were tiny ones. They smashed out. These are the big ones. Smashed out, didn't they? Yes. I don't People even think, for I don't even think they lasted forty eight hours. Probably didn't. The ornithopter. 
Okay, they've done the name. big. They've done the big ornithopters, but they haven't done any of the harvesters. Not yet. Hopefully soon. So what? What is an ornithopter? It's a flying machine. How does it fly? The, How's it different to a helicopter? Because it has like wings that go up and down. Yeah, it's got flappy. It's got flappy bits. Flappy bits. And it's really nice. They've designed this one to be very much like a dragonfly. Multiple wings. Multiple wings. Mm. That's cool. Let's have a look. This you is my this scale. All right. I was going to say, not, I hope it's not 112 because it would be quite big. Not that I've ever seen one flying. 70 second scale. So you like these things now, the harvester things. Mm. Mm. So this they, is they the training. The, the harvesters look like they're up to no good. Do they? No. They're taking stuff out of the ground. Yeah, ripping it out. That's why the sandworms come along and need them. Look at that. There we go. Oh, it's got a big chassis. It's pretty big, isn't it? There you go, there. Looks like so a, it resembles a helicopter and the fuselage and stuff. I wonder if Jack A's into this. I don't know because he does he's love the front end of the cockpit. He right loves there. helicopters. He does, and he's got so many rotors on it, right? Well, actually, little winglets. Imagine the sand texture he'd do on this. He'd love that, wouldn't he? Sand textures. Would it make it sandy? I know how to do a really good sand texture. You cover it in glue and chuck it in some sand. Cheating. You can't do that. It's not scale sand. You need scale sand. Well, if you want scale sand, then you get the really fine stuff. Talcum powder. Oh, and look. Then paint it. Here you go. That gives you an impression of how big these flappy bits are. Holy moly. So you'll be able to display this with them folded back or fully extended in flight. Fully mode. extended. Yeah. This one here gives you an impression of the, the figures. The 70 second scale figures, so they're quite small. So it's a quite large, large It's a vehicle. big ornithopter. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's not the tiny ornithopters that you see around. And this one's got a base as well. So I love that these models come with a base. Puts them into context, doesn't it? Mm. And then you can see here. What can you see? These are the joints for the wingy bits. The blades. Mm. The swizzle sticks. And you see here how it's the what? Swizzle <laughs> sticks. <laughs> And then these are ball jointed so they can move around. Cupped. Yeah. What? what? Cupped. You could say that. Ball cupped. Yes. Yes. So there you, you know go. There's an Atreides Ornithopter. You should do one for Model Expo 2025. Can you believe we're talking about that already? Your oh, fear, your fear it must be nearly done by now. It's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It. No. A month later, it still hasn't been touched. We've lost a month. It has um, been touched. I had to move it. it was, we've lost a month. <laughs> now I'm on, I'm on to a secret project at the moment. Secret. Yeah. Secret stash. It'll become not so secret in the next couple of weeks. Yes. Mm. But if, if, you, if you're a detective, you'll be able to see bits and pieces of what I'm doing. Out in social media or somewhere. In the ether. Yeah, yeah. It's around. It's around. But they're cool. So, so you, kits. But you need to log on to the dark web. Today.